Good afternoon. As Munch Sr. said, I'm Patrick Velasquez, and I'm here to inform you about the importance of the Bishop's Ministry Appeal. This year's theme is moving forward in gratitude and hope, together as one. Through its parishes, schools, and ministries, the programs the BMA has enjoyed a long history of service and support. Think of the homeless in our community, then envision Catholic charities or our own St. Vincent de Paul Society providing food, clothing, and hope. Think of the young woman walking up to a clinic, pregnant, and thinking the only way out is an abortion. Now envision someone from one of the Support Life Ministries showing her other alternatives and providing support and guidance. These are just two of the programs that are funded by the BMA within the diocese. There are many more and they all take money to run. Let's talk about our own parish. In these difficult times, we never stop doing what is important to each and every one of us. Let me cover some of the highlights. Beginning from the first day of the pandemic, we began live streaming of Mass, invested in new equipment and personnel to improve the live Mass experience. Safely celebrated First Holy Communion for 27 students. Safely celebrated Confirmation for 50 students, a record for our parish. Four adults completed their RCIE training and entered into our faith and the church. We invested in software personnel and safely trained catechists to continue the 2019-2020 CCD school year. We completely revamped the 2020-2021 year to ensure that we continue to catechize and support our 102 students and their families online. We were the first and still one of the few parishes in our diocese offering CCD this year. And there's still more. We kept our ministries alive online. The Legion of Mary continues to pray once a week via conference call. Our youth ministry meets every Wednesday online via Zoom, and is continuing to provide good works in the community. Bible study meets every Thursday, also through Zoom. Our Society of St. Vincent de Paul never stopped their ministry. While they had to cancel the third Saturday distributions, they continued to provide food to families in need every Tuesday and Friday, right here at the parish. They successfully provided Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners to families in the community. These are just a few of the many ministries that are active, vibrant, and alive here at St. Bernadette's. We may not have had a picnic this year, but let's look at what we did have. We celebrated a special mass for our 2020 Ladies Guild Scholarship winners providing academic scholarships to four students. We had a fun and faith night with a safe outdoor magic show for families. We had a drive-in movie night right here in the parking lot, showing power in my hands and providing dinner. We held our Lady of the Lords event. This parish is alive, folks. We continue to bring Jesus into the lives of our par parishioners. Our goal this year is the same, $110,000. We are asking each family to consider a gift of $400. As you know, this is our only fundraiser for the operations of the parish that we have. It is how we fund our ministries that are critical to all of us. Last year, a very difficult year, we had 197 families support the BMA and we raised $71,543, of which $14,007 came right back to us. This year, Father would like to upgrade our technology that is so important now and will be in the future. 
We also need to maintain all the wonderful new landscaping and improvements that were donated to our parish. We have had to cut some expenses this year, but we never stopped doing the good work of Jesus Christ. With the limited, limited number of people attending Mass, it, was, it has affected our normal Sunday offering. The excess from the BMA will help cover some of that. So please consider a gift to this year's BMA. I ask that everyone give something. If we have a roof over our heads, food on our tables, and shoes on our feet, we are better off than 99% of the world's population. I emphasize this to encourage all to participate. In the words of Jesus Christ, what you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. Next week, Father will go over the options on how to give. If you received a letter, a letter, an envelope from Bishop Cotta, please bring that with you. I truly believe that everyone can give something. It all helps and is appreciated. For it is through giving that we receive. And we are the missionary disciples of St. Bernadette's. Thank you and may God continue to bless you and your families. I would like to thank Patrick.